first floor. We'll try this one first because it's closer. Duck. Open it. Still locked. Come on, Christmas duck. Come on, Billy. And this way. Let's try this door over here. There you go, duck. Ah. Imagine though. Oh, duck. <sighs> Billy. Billy. Really? Really, Billy? Billy, Billy? Okay. Billy, I will come back for you. Unless I get eaten by monsters. If I get eaten by monsters, act natural. different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around, well, you know, so you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone or go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone, we say I love you. No. Oh. Sweet little babies. I know. I knew there was a pink card. I already, I already went for it. I just wanted my duck. Dear Samantha, I would like to cordially thank you for having me over your, uh, for having me to your abode for the Thanksgiving holiday with your lovely family. I enjoyed the flavorful potatoes, and also it was weird being around your parents for that long. But it was pretty funny how impossible it is for your dad not to be awkward for more than 30 seconds at a time. Very cordially yours, your close friend and confidant, Lonnie D. <laughs> I, be I believe she meant confidant, but alright. <laughs> a fancy man. Mmm, quiet. Mmm. Mmm. Quiet. Yes. Dear Mr. Soto, allow me to take this opportunity to thank you in kind for being such a gracious host at uh, of the uh, festivities, festivities at your father's estate following the aforementioned meal with my parents. Your family's Thanksgiving feast was m the more enjoyable of the two events. Duck. Were you just fucking with me? Please don't. Don't do that. Your family's fe uh, thanks Thanksgiving feast was the more enjoyable of the two events. I must say, especially appreciate the time that I spent with your grandmother, who is a lovely woman with sterling taste and a refined air. Let's do it again. 
same time next year, shall we? Indeed, Madam Samantha L. Greenbrier, Esquire. These chips are gonna get stale if you leave them on the floor like that. At least put them on the table. And then hide them under a three ring. Rubber chips. <laughs> Alright. Okay, you stay there for a second. I'm gonna go explore the rest of this room. Watch my back. blue ribbon what's it for nothing oh it's a science fair ribbon I can dig it I love me some science oh man what are my old sex ed assignments ooh below are two story stories events are oh it's the, it's the one Sam did but what's mine oh I'm starting to fill it oh mine was okay my, mine was boring Sam's was great oh K is for kind, A is amazing, I is for intelligent, T is talented, L is for lighthearted, I is an important, N is for dice. Yeah. Now, if you were to do my name, now my name is Nathaniel, you would have <laughs> N is for nice, N is for nice, N is for nice, like at least two or three times in there. Because cause other than nice, people don't know a lot of end words that are positive when describing someone. Don't you fuck with me, Boiler. Can I open this? I can't. Ha house. Okay. Everybody remember? Fuse box is here. I feel like we're gonna need that later. If we don't, then you know where a fuse box is. Enjoy. Dear Samantha Greenbrier, we would like to congratulate you on your acceptance to the creative writing track of Reed, uh, the Reed College Summer Program for Young Scholars 1995 session. Based on your portfolio and the academic record, we are also pleased to offer you financial aid to cover 75% of the summer program's tuition and fees. That's not shabby. That's not shabby at all. The arranged documentation contains specific uh, specifics regarding your schedule, optional secondary track sessions, and your dormitory assignment. We look very much forward to participating in the uh, to your participation in the summer program. And again, congratulations. I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing, and I was all making plans like you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. Oof. Oh, that's rough. That is really rough. Richard Greenbrier. Who cut the face off? I feel like that's going to be like a pseudo jump scare later. Mm. 
Yeah, growing up is hard, yo. Um, open. Fourteen karat gold heart pendant and two halves, customizable with up to ten letters, names, dates, initials, anything you could dream up. Gift box, uh, boxed and imported. Oh, they wanted to get little, little heart necklaces. Oh, that's adorable. Sweet little children. There you go. Four. I think that's mom's citizenship stuff. Yes, uh, tends to raise permanently. Wait, where did mom come from? don't know where she came from and I can't really read it huh that's some spooky stuff I will hold off on that and I will look at this spooky stuff instead Just a bunch of newspapers and a hidden passageway that I will explore later. Say, Sam, I'm writing you uh, from Gibberish Falls. I'm here on a stupid class trip, which is stupid because it's in, uh, it's March and I don't know if anyone is running. This school has been to Oregon, but it's cold and rainy as shit in March. Wish you were here. Oh wait, you are here because I'm writing this to you in the gift shop. Oh shit, here you come, Lonnie. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. Just leave it there. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. What is this? Oh, no, 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 no. One of Dad's books with something stuck to it. First published manuscript is more much as okay. I read it with this afternoon. Certainly recognize my son in the subject matter. And others work is externalized with which holds dear to fears. In this uh, respect, I believe your work was successful, but through the uh, but the lens through which your personal uh, which the personal show was needlessly clouded by genre cliches and plausible di uh, dime store science fiction day ex machina. Oof. You know what? No. Dad. You're you're okay. You're good. You're good, Dad. Better yet. No. Dad, you don't need that kind of negativity in your life. He is not giving you constructive criticism. He is just being an asshole because he's your dad. He's just supposed to support you. I mean, he is a PhD, so he's probably holding...